guys know, maybe you saw my Instagram, but I deleted my video that I made yesterday of my haul. Anyway, Julie, happy vintage shopper. So I so cleverly deleted my haul video that I made yesterday. Not only did I delete it, but I deleted the deleted, thinking I was being so cleaning up my files before I uploaded my video to YouTube. And apparently if you do that, the video is considered not there and then they won't upload it. So here we are with take two. I guess the good news for you guys is I've added a few more things from today's shopping. Yes, I went shopping again today. So let me go through what I got. Um, in case you don't know, if there's anything that you are interested in, don't forget that you just email me at happyvintageshopper at gmail and we'll talk um, about pricing and see if it's still available because sometimes these things sell um, pretty quickly. So another thing to take note of this weekend is the Vintage Shop Hop, which is taking place um, with all different um, retailers in the area. And I do have um, that story on my Instagram right now. Um, and then Five Star is going to be one of those shop hop locations. And they are open 10 to 6 um, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. I will be there on Sunday behind the counter. I'm so excited. And um, my cat's coughing up a fur ball right now. Uh, if you can probably hear him. It's okay, buddy. Ugh. It's always so weird to watch that. <coughs> anyway, if you are in the area, check out um, Five Star. I, I load, I'm going to be loading up my booth tomorrow, so I'll probably be taking some of this there. Um, but I'll also be there on Sunday from noon to four, I believe. So here we go. Here we go. So these are things that I've picked up locally, which you guys know. Um... And I just want to show you what I got. So I've been primarily focusing on 99.8% of the things that I'm picking up now is vintage clothing. I'm doing really well with vintage clothing at Five Star. I still have other things there, but I still have plenty of those things to sell that I sourced. And so I um, also will be putting together my Christmas display probably within the next couple weeks, to be honest with you, because... Yeah, why not? Everyone else is getting ready for Christmas, even though it hasn't been Halloween yet. Um, I have more Christmas things than I do Halloween. So here we go. All right. Blah, 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 Julie. Stop your talking. Let's get to the stuff. You guys want to see the stuff, right? So I picked up this um, vintage American Eagle little jean jacket. It's a size small. Isn't it cute? Who doesn't need a jean jacket to throw over like a sundress or a, just a little small sweater. So I grabbed that, it's very vintage looking. I don't know how old it is, but I thought it was really cute. Um, right now, the little crappy things are in and um, I do have a few of those today, so I'm excited about that. But I grabbed this little ripped tee, a long sleeve tee. It's got kind of a rainbow look on it. Um, it does have more of a vintage tag, I'm guessing it's might be something that was, um, it a maybe I don't know. I don't know where this kind of take. I want to say boutique, but I doubt it. Maybe I don't know. If you know, let me. Achoo! Woo! If you know, let me know. Obviously, I have a little allergy to the cat. That's kind of a burgundy color. That is an extra small. Wait till you see this sweater. Oh my god! I have walked by this sweater a couple of times. Um, at the St. Vinny's in Fort. And then sometimes you just go, today's the day. Today's the day I'm taking it home. And that was today. That was this week. It was today was the day. So I'm just restringing this ribbon that came out. Okay. So here is this very vintage long tunic length sweater. Um, it has satin ribbon. I don't know if anybody remembers these, but look at this tag. 
It says Jenny. It's a size large. It has shoulder pads. Um, it's all embroidered. It's got some cutouts. Look at the sleeve. Isn't that cute? And then look at this little cutouts there and then a little pattern at the bottom as well. There's nothing on the back. It's just plain on the back. But super cute. You could belt this. How cute would this be? You know, belted. So cute. So cute. Belts are always in, I feel like. Belts are always in. I just got a belt from um, my friend Steph at Shop Costura, and I will probably be styling that in an outfit here very soon. Um, I grabbed this little crappy situation. A little, this just has like little swans, maybe? Um, this is not vintage. It is Forever 21, but I just thought it was cute. And then this is real special. So this is a vintage. This is 2001 Old Navy. There's an old Old Navy tag. It's very boho. Very, um, yeah, very boho looking. But look at the sleeve. Isn't that cool? It almost looks like a gunny sack from the 80s. Like the gunny sack brand. But um, this is a size small. I thought it was very cute, so I grabbed that. And then I grabbed this long sleeve tee. Now this says Pippin on it. Long sleeve tee, and then it does have um, a saying on the back. My guess is this is from like a high school play. That's my guess. If I, if someone has any other ideas, please let me know. It does have a vintage tag. It's kind of, um, so this is probably from the early 2000s maybe. I thought that was cute. Here's another little crappy gal. Little crappy gal. Be really cute with a cute bralette underneath. So cute. And here's another crappy. This is a little, kind of a little furry, fleecy little thing. This is a size large. There is the tag. Like a lilac purple. I mean, so cute. So cute. Um, Here's one more little crop. I thought this... Oh, I have a couple more. This is like an Italy shirt. Made in Italy. Here's the tag. I thought it was just kind of cute. And then this is a sheen, which... Normally I don't pick up some and things that are this modern, but... When it's stylish and in style, you know, why not? Why not? Little, little platy. And then I grab these jeans. Now, I don't normally pick up jeans just because everyone fits differently in a jean, but I can't resist them because this is my mindset. I feel like I have to save them for some reason. Like, I don't know. I don't know, but they're just so cool. These are tiny. So these are like a size 3, 4, like junior 3, 4. Tiny, tiny, tiny. But look at the detail on these. Has like these starbursts right here. There is the vintage tag. But look at the back. It's got that detail here. And then these are bell bottoms. Or what would you say? Not bell bottoms, Julie. You're dating yourself. Like a, a flare. Just the flare. Let's not call them bell bottoms. Let's call them a flare. And then it has this detail on the front and on the back. But these are very, very cool. And it has this really cool yoke detail up here. I think that this, if someone could wear this and then they could wear this, it'd be so cute. So cute. I also got this vest for myself, which I think is really cute. <clears throat> and then I picked up this flannel. Very, very cute pattern. It's very soft. It's kind of faded, which is always a good look with a flannel. A good fade is always good. It's dry goods. You guys remember those stores? Are they still around? Are the dry goods stores in the mall whoops in the mall still open? Does anybody know? I wonder. I wonder, but this is a size, oh, the size has been cut out. 
So I'm guessing that this is probably a medium, small medium. I thought I grabbed these just because I thought the, the material was so darn cute. So they're a Christmas pajama pant. Um, and they're kind of, it's kind of hearts. It's just plaid and cute. Um, I just grabbed, they're a size small and I'm guessing that it had a top that went with it because there's no tag in it. So it's just this simple little tag. I just thought they were cute. And then I grabbed this band tee. So this is Led Zeppelin. It is not, it's not vintage. We've talked about the tags. So this would be a modern tag, but you know, why not? Why not grab it? Because under a plaid blazer, wool blazer, which I just happen to have a few in my store at Five Star, you know, um, just so cute, right? Pair of jeans and then that blazer with the sleeves rolled up. Seriously. Seriously. I don't want to show you that last because that was really cute. And then I got this little tee. So this is a vintage t-shirt that's obviously a sunflower, but the bees were just so darn cute on there. I thought those were sweet. And here's the vintage tag. I mean, where's that from? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Here's another vintage t-shirt. This is a kind of a sagey green with another kind of butterfly situation on there. But look at this, look at this um, vintage Sonoma tag. Very, very cool. Grabbed that. And then I grabbed, here's another nature tea. So this I grabbed, I've been selling a lot of nature teas. This is like, obviously it's a big fish. Um, but look at this, look at this tag. This one's a huge one. This one is a 4XL. So if you know of anyone who, who is a 4XL, this will be at five star. Unless you're interested in it now, then let me know and we'll talk about it. This one's just funny. Um, I'm guessing that this is Halloween related. It does have a, a vintage tag, but it says normal people scare me. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I think that's funny. Anyway, so here's the the older tag. I'm guessing that that, that would be fun for Halloween. And then I found this Christmas, a Grinch t-shirt. Um, it says just a, just a pinch of Grinch. Get it? Um, and here's the Dr. Seuss tag, which I thought was very fun. I've never seen one before. So it's kind of fun. Here's the actual maker, but then Dr. Seuss sold this t-shirt um, brand, the brand. So rib that. And then this is just a little hooded, cropped hooded sweatshirt. Um, just gray simple, but it says princess, which I thought was cute. Nothing on the back. Um, but I thought it was cute, so I grabbed it. That's kind of how I roll with the cute, you know? That's how I, that's what I do. I grab what I think is cute, I guess. Not everything that's cute, but, um, then I grabbed this. This is so cool. So this has tigers, obviously, on it. It is a size small, and it's sheer. Like, you can see through it. See? Um, but it would be really, really cool with, um, you know, a bralette on under it as well in the summertime. But here's the tag. This obviously is not old, but I thought it was so cool. Long sleeves. It has a nice gold detailed button on the back and it matches the buttons in the front. But I just thought that this was so cool. So I grabbed it. And then, this is the last thing I grabbed early the week. Then I'll get into the bag that I bought today. But this I grabbed so fast. I paid up for this just a little bit at my honey hole. But look it. It's a Harley Davids Davidson. Davidson. <laughs> Whatever, Julie. Um, little jacket. Zip-up jacket. like a Kind of like a bomber jacket style. Long-sleeved. It really has some really cool ribbing on it. There's a little, kind of a little patch there. There's a patch on the sleeve. I wonder if the year is on it. Just says the year that the motorcycles were started. But then it has patches on this sleeve. 
live free and then this other patch but then here's the back you guys look at the back so cool look at the back oh my lanta so cute so this is a size large and i'll show you the tag very very cool very cool i could just see someone riding down the road on their harley on the back of their man on his bike unless you have a harley of your own and lady and you're riding your motorcycle but how cool is this i just think that this is amazing so i grabbed that so that's all the stuff that got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is what I picked up for today. So let me just get this out of the way. So I grabbed this crew neck. This is kind of a, a fun design. It has a cardinal on the, on the front. Um, and this is embroidered in. So this is not, this is not screen print this is embroidered in there so that's kind of cool it's always nice when you can find something that's embroidered because it's just higher quality it is on the gildan gildan um ultra heavyweight tag which i think is cool and this is a size large it's kind of a real pretty like burgundy red or like a good christmas red so grabbed that and then I grabbed these plaid pants. I want these to fit me so badly. But these are so cute. So cute. And if my sister Katie is watching, she's going to say, those are ugly. <laughs> I know. I know she is. But these, um, does it say the size on here? I don't think it has a size on them. But these, this would be so cute with a cropped little shirt. Um, here's the tag right there but I don't see a size my guess is the oh wait wait wait, wait. I lied Let's see if there's a size on this there is not there is not a size on it so my guess is these are a size four two or a four a two or a four and they're kind of a red plaid but they're so cute so cute I wish they were a little wider at the leg but that's okay and then, oh, this I grabbed for me. So this is a flannel dress, like a shirt dress. It's got a little tie at the waist. Um, I thought it was cute. It's gray flannel, and um, I thought it was really cute. And this is the brand. It's Lou Gray, which means nothing to me other than it could have been something from Stitch Fix or a boutique brand. But I, I grabbed it because I thought it would be really cozy in the winter um, with some, like, leggings and a vest to be cute cute and then i grabbed this little clutch purse which i would thought would be would be cool um if you had a special event it's just it's got kind of it's kind of an organza um on the front um bow but then it also has the strap which is nice you know thought it was cute grabbed that then I grabbed this funny little hat for a dollar because I'm going to be helping out with the um trunk or treat for the um for five star and be giving candy for trunk or treat for the humane society so I thought I'd wear this and then I'd put a little cat cat design on my face that'd be kind of funny last thing that I grabbed today I've been looking at this at my honey hole for probably two weeks now and I walked by today and I said today's the day today's the day I'm picking up this this is a wedding dress like a cocktail length wedding dress is it not the most beautiful thing look at the lace it's so soft and let me see I think somebody made it so this is homemade but look at how well well made it is and it's kind of a, I don't know, like a, like a, almost like a sheer fabric. But then it has this netting underneath that gives it that skirt, that fuller skirt look. I mean, come on, people. It's so cute. I paid up for this. Um, and I, what did I pay for this? $7.50. But 
I rescued it. I saved it. I just thought it's just so special. I needed to take it home. So today I took it home. And I'm so happy I did. I don't think it will fit me. Otherwise I would, oh no, oh God, no. Little tiny waist we have in the 40s and 50s. Little tiny, little tiny. Or maybe it's the 60s, dress from the 60s. I, I don't know, but I thought it was really cute. Really cute. So that's what I picked up. So, yeah, so I had a great time. I always do. Um, I just wanted to remind you all that the shop hop is this weekend, so check out Five Star, um, 10 to 6. I'll be there on Sunday. Um, I hope to see you all there. Be so fun to see you all. Come say hi for sure. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It does help my channel. It helps me grow, and it doesn't cost you a darn thing. And comment. Let me know what you think. What's your favorite item? Like, do you have a memory with this item? You know. Anyway, that's it, and you know what I'm going to say. See you next time, and there's a fly hopping around here. Happy shopping, everyone.